Mr. Speaker, last week, respected Cree elder Gary Moustous was physically evicted and banned from an Edmonton mall. The apparent offense, he was suspected of associating with the homeless. Yet, like others, he was simply enjoying a bowl of soup. Elder Moustous raised himself out of a life of despair on the streets to bring solace to Cree elders in health care, to victims of residential school abuse, and to the homeless. Yet still he was subjected to public humiliation and is emotionally wounded. The, man offered, the mall offered an apology, but apologies simply aren't enough. Was this elder targeted because he looked Aboriginal? What direction was security given? Is the intention to keep the homeless and traumatized out on the street? Tina Fontaine was not the first Aboriginal child to be treated with abandon. Elder Moose Toos was not the first Aboriginal man to be humiliated. As parliamentarians, we can and must use our powers to advance for mere apologies to ensuring comparable child and family services, restitution and support to the healing centres, and to meet our commitments under the UN DRIP, including respecting the rights of Indigenous peoples to the dignity and diversity of their cultures, traditions, histories and their aspirations.